Hello and welcome back. In the last screencast, we talked about routing. And in this screencast, we're going to be uh, spending a little time in the views. Uh, and But before we do that, I just wanted to uh, talk about something very, uh, an important guide that uh, Rails Guides provides. And it discusses uh, action view overview. This is the action view overview. And what this is, is it just talks about how uh, 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 the action view is comprised of uh, the action controller and action view. The action controller is, uh, it communicates with the data database and the action view compiles the responses. Now, I, in the interest of time, I don't want to dive into this. I just wanted to show you where all this information is. Action view templates uh, are written using embedded Ruby and uh, the, the tags are mangled with uh, HTML. And I'm going to scroll down and show you uh, where we, what we're talking about here. So it says within a, an ERB template, Ruby code can be included using the uh, open and, cl and closed uh, brackets, angled brackets here. And then, uh, so for the first one, when we use those first ones that I have highlighted, we use those to execute Ruby code that does not return anything. And if it has an equal sign, if we want to return something, let's say something from our uh, database, uh, uh, we use the equal sign and that will ex execute Ruby code and return something to our, to our views. Okay, so go to uh, the Ruby guides, go to action view and then read a little more about ERB. We are going to be using Hamal. So, and I just wanna show you what Hamal is. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's another, it's a templating uh, language that uh, you, we can use, te templating system, in place of uh, ERB. And we are going to be using a gem to convert all our, all our ERB to, to Hamal. So if, you, if we look at, uh, in a little bit, we're going to look at our, our fi files in the views and we'll see that their extension is .erb. We're going to use a gem to convert them all to .hamal. And then let me show you what hamal does. So you see, this is ERB. This is what we currently have. And when you write hamal, you see it's much shorter. Uh, it's, uh, we don't have to write as much as we have to do here. Now let's look at something uh, like a div. So here's a div in ERB. So it just looks like HTML with uh, ERB embedded Ruby in here. But here's the same uh, code that we will be writing in Hamal. Okay, again, look at, uh, here's another example, ERB. Here's a div with a ID content. It is a class left columns, uh, a heading, H2, a paragraph. And then here's another div that has a class right column and it renders a partial. Uh, here's what it would look like in Hamel. Okay, so to get us started, let's go to the Ruby Gems and just type in, go to the home page. Let's say you are in, uh, let's let's go to uh, rubygems.org and then we want to say, to type in Hamel-Rails. Okay, when we get there, let's click on the first one, one.org.org and then let's copy that we're gonna be learning a little more about branching and merging also in this tutorial. So what we want to do first is go to our, let's go to our terminal, and then we just say git checkout, okay, dash b, and then we give our branch a name. We just, I'm just gonna say add, ml, okay. And then we we have now switched to a new branch. It says add hammer. Okay. Now let's open up our gem file. So so I need to say fem gem file. Okay. Then let me see where I can add this. As soon as the gem file comes up, as soon as it populates here, just waiting for it. So I'm just gonna go to jump to line 18, and go to 17 first, and then uh, here we go. Looks like I didn't copy my, oh, I copied something over it. So let's go back here, I'm gonna, 
copy it, then go back here, and then this time it should work. There we go. Okay, run Rails DB, uh, sorry, run uh, bundle install to add the gem. And while it's adding the gem, let's just get a new window here. And I'll just show what, I, what I'm saying. You just have to type in bundle install. Install after typing in, uh, after adding that gem to your gem file. Let's go see if it's added yet. Okay, now it has been added. Let's go to uh, a terminal. And then we want to type in, okay, want to type in Rails. Hamel colon ERB to Hamel. All right. And that will convert our ERB to Hamel. All okay. And while it's doing that, let's, let me just show you what how things are looking in our in our view files. So let's just go back here. Then I will start uh, the Vim. Okay, let's go to app views and, and I'll show you what's in there. Let's start with the posts. Okay, you see how we had uh, a form ERB, now we have Hamal and ERB. But uh, you can either keep these both or it's just best to get rid of the Hamal. But if you, if you wanted to compare and see how they look, you can just uh, keep both. But I usually just delete them and that is going to be our next step. So if we go back to here, you see, would you like to delete? It's asking us. I'm just going to say yes, and I'll delete it. Okay, I'm going to say git add, git commit, dash m. And then we just say add hamal. And then I'm going to type in git push, and you'll see uh, what I get. It says to push this branch, this is what I need. So I'm just, I just usually just copy that. And then control V push okay so it's asking me for a passphrase and uh, if you run into something like this I usually just just hit uh, control C create and I'm ju I just type in SSH dash and then now I'll put in my password that way I don't have to keep repeating that adding my password all the time all right let me see if I can remember my password yeah I think so Okay, good, identity added. Now we can try this push one more time. This will push a branch to get, and let me show you what it looks like. As soon as it is done, it's done. Let's go to my uh, home page here at GitHub slash KCNY slash blog 522, blog 522. And then if we look at the branches here, yeah, I have five branches, and we just wanna look at the one I just pushed, which is hammer. Let's Okay, so and if we go to views, uh, any of these in the views file, we, see, we now have Hamel. But if we go to the main branch, which is the master branch, we don't have it yet because we haven't merged. Okay, so if we go to the main branch and do the same thing, views, up views, you'll notice that we still uh, have the same. Go to posts, we still, uh, we have both Hamel. Okay, let me see what happened here. Let me go. I'm not in the right branch. I'm in the Hamel branch. Okay, good. That's what's going on. So we need to change the branch down here. That's where we change it. Go to master. And then let's try this one more time. Up views. And then posts. You see, they are all ERB. So let's leave it there. And I'm going to do a merge right now. So first to merge, you just type in git. Check out master. And you don't have to merge if you don't want to use Hamal. That's why we even created a branch so you could uh, get in and out and learn more about Hamal in that Hamal branch. Uh, so we just say git merge and give it the name of the branch and Hamal. Git merge, git merge, what is it saying? Not something we can merge. Okay, let me see if I called it something different. Git branch, oh, I just called it Hamal, okay, git. So all I need to call it is uh, what I called it, git merge Hamal, and this should merge it. Already up to date. 
you can check out. Okay, get merge them all. Then uh, let's say git push. Okay, it says the push is already up to date. All right, so before we end this, so before we end this, let's just get to the bottom of this. There seems to be a problem here. So let me see, let me see the branches I, I have. So git branch, it's gonna tell me git branch. Okay, I have Hamel and I have Halm. Okay, I don't want the Hamel because that's, I'm not using that. So I'm to delete your branch, you can just say git branch dash D. I'm gonna delete that one. And the one I used is the one that I have the the spelling is incorrect. So I'm just gonna just grab it anyway. Git merge. Helm. It's called Ed Helm. It's supposed to say Ed Hamal. That's what I was trying to write. Okay, so now it has merged and then we can just say push it. We'll just push the branch. Now we're in the master branch, we're pushing it to GitHub. And then when we go back to GitHub, right here, and if we re hit refresh, we'll see that we have merged our files. They are now all HAML, and the branch is the master branch. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.